A crazy occurrence in the New York Giant game last week in Week 2 at Washington. The Giants, as an underdog, had three touchdowns to none and still lost and failed to cover. <laughs> Almost impossible to do that, but they found a way. They're now 0-2 straight up in ATS. Will they get their first point spread cover the season? Perhaps their first win? Well, the Cleveland Browns are a 6.5 point favorite, so the odds makers are saying not likely. However, I do think there's a money-making opportunity in this game on both the side and total. Side and total free for you with analysis in just a moment. Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV, and I'm breaking down the somewhat ugly 1 o'clock Eastern game Sunday afternoon on Fox National, well, not national, regional TV at best, and that's the New York Giants at the Cleveland Browns. And as I check the Wager Talk live odd screen, we'll see that the Browns are currently a 6.5 point favorite, and that's what the look-ahead line was last week. You know, several books in Vegas and around the world put out an advance line the week before games, Cleveland 6.5, it's still 6.5 because both teams weren't very impressive last week. But the total has dropped quite a bit. In fact, uh, the advance line was anywhere from 41.5 to 43.5. Now it's 39. So there has been some sharp money on the under. I would agree with that move. Both of these offenses are really struggling. And I think in an ugly game, two struggling teams, low scoring game, the plus 6.5 is appealing. And by the way, I run a lot of consensus data. As you know, my NFL Fade the Public video will be up this weekend here on the channel. The uh, Cleveland Browns are looking like a bit of a public play this week. Public is definitely siding towards the Browns, so I do think this line is a bit too high. I like the Giants plus 6.5. I would also lean under 39. Both teams have been just horrendous passing the ball. Daniel Jones, very mediocre. Deshaun Watson, average at best. Uh, The Giants also lost their place kicker, Graham Grinnell, early in the game last week at Washington, and their punter, Tried one kick attempt, did not go well. They never kicked the rest of the game. So the Giants once again scored three touchdowns and only had 18 points. Meanwhile, the Commanders, not my Washington Commanders, had no touchdowns and got to 21, which is just remarkable to lose a game as a dog and not even cover with the 3 nothing touchdown edge. But that's how it played out. It's been a rough season. They, of course, got blown out by the Vikings in Week 1. However, the Browns aren't looking much better. Uh, bad, a Dallas loss looks really bad now that Dallas got blown out by New Orleans. And then, yes, they beat Jacksonville 18-13 as a five-point road dog. And on the surface, that might seem impressive, but they did not move the ball well offensively at all. In fact, they're averaging less than four yards per play this season, which is the third worst number in the entire NFL, averaging uh, just over four yards per play. Giants are averaging almost a half a yard per play more offensively. And both defenses have actually been solid, giving up only about five and a half yards per play. Uh, Both passing attacks, as I mentioned, have been horrendous. Cleveland, 3.9 yards per pass. Giants, 4.9. Both teams are running yards per play. Their rushing yards per play is almost more than their passing yards per play. So I do think the under is worth a look at under 39, and that would favor the big dog Giants plus 6.5. And And Cleveland does look a bit public, so maybe wait until Sunday and see if you could find that key number of plus 7. Hey, comment below. I read all the comments. Let me know your thoughts not only on this game, but other NFL plays you like this Sunday, week three, this Sunday, September the 22nd. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell for instant alerts when my NFL Fade the Public video is posted this weekend as well. Fade in the Public, by the way, 8-4 and four so far this season here on the uh, first two weeks of that Fade the Public video. We'll see how they do in week three. Hey, thumbs up, like also if you're finding these free f- play videos useful. That's always appreciated. Football has been fantastic for years. This is my 29th football season as a full-time professional handicapper. In the last two seasons alone, college and pro combined, nobody has won more ATS units of profit than I have at wagertalk.com. And we enter Friday, by the way, heading into the weekend on a 29-9 and baseball run. So I know we're talking football, but don't sleep on baseball. It is a great moneymaker this time of the year. And I'm number one in profit in all of baseball for 2024 as well at Wager Talk. NBA starts in about a month. Number one all-time in profit in the NBA, and also was number one in college hoops a couple years ago as well. So yes, baseball, football, basketball, I know what you're thinking. Hey, maybe an all-sports, all-access subscription might be a good move. Well, I agree, and to make it even more enticing, I'm giving you an instant $800 discount when you use promo code SM365. Now, here's how it works. Go to my homepage right now, Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. On the right-hand side, you'll see the one-month, the three-month, and the one-year all-access passes. Select the one year, and at checkout, use promo code SM365. 
365 and you get an instant $800 discount. That works out to just over $3 a day, just over a dollar per play for every football, baseball, and basketball best bet for the next 365 days and nights. Promo code SM365. Now, if you want to start a little bit smaller, you want just the rest of the football season, use promo code FBALL100, FBALL100. This week and gets a $100 discount instantly on the rest of the college and pro football seasons combined. Or if you've got football and you just want to add baseball for the rest of the way and get on board this incredible 29-9 and run. And by the way, the last two plays we've had in baseball were two extra inning losses, and we're still 29-9. and <laughs> It's incredible how good the baseball season's been. You can get the rest of the baseball season for just over $100 with promo code F. Uh, I'm sorry, MLB 50. That's a $50 discount. Gets it up to just over 100 bucks for the rest of the baseball season. MLB 50. And once again, F-Ball 100 is the football promo. Hey, look, you don't have to memorize these. They're on my homepage right now. Full details, all the promo codes, along with my daily best bets, and also a free play. That's right, a free play every day for all my clients and all the free visitors. Check out the free play and right below, check out those promo codes. You can get my official best bets at a special price. And by the way, if you've already gotten on board for baseball or football and you want to upgrade to a bigger package, including that one-year special, just let customer support know, and they will give you a credit for what you have remaining. You can still use those promo codes. Once again, Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash sm. Follow me on X and Instagram at Steve Merrill, two R's, one L, at Steve Merrill on X and Instagram. And stay tuned here to Wager Talk TV for some more great free betting content coming up next.